In, in today's term, you find that a lot of virtual worlds are proprietary. If everybody has their own ways of doing things, but what we want is a common platform where everybody can just plug in quite easily and start interacting in the virtual world. There, there are two parts to it that we're trying to do, really. The, the, the first is the so-called uh, framework for different proprietary environment, virtual world environment to come together. So that is called a metaverse, which we want to create so that everybody can participate together. And the other part is really into uh, AI, artificial, artificial intelligence for avatars. Uh, these days, avatars are basically a proxy of the users, uh, and so uh, they are basically simple and uh, not very highly intelligent. So what we want to create is an artificial intelligent avatar inside the virtual environment whereby once you interact with them, it, it is sort of akin to someone who is in the real world and then sort of make everything a little more, more interesting and, and a lot more fun. What we're trying to create at the end of the day is really an environment where different virtual worlds is able to exist. On one end you have Counter-Strike and on the other hand you have Halo and they're all participating in a, in a game in the same environment. And this is something we're trying to achieve through these uh, R&D uh, efforts. Everyone can participate in, in this environment and, and, and take whatever they have and, and they're already in the virtual world without having to spend too much time trying to develop a so-called gateway into the, in, in, into the uh, virtual world. And uh, you find that if this is available in the market, the number of participation in a virtual world activity will shoot up immediately and this is what we're going to achieve, to create something uh, mind-boggling, I think. We are creating an enabler for the virtual world community with technologies and framework for them to get into the virtual world. So when we say community, we are talking about communities such as the simulation community, the animation, the games, and also the uh, edutainment environment. We have applied this to the military. Uh, as you know, the Americans have been also doing a lot of this so-called uh, distributed training and, and so-called where different forces are able to uh, communicate together and train as a force. Uh, they're trying to come up with special codes and, and uh, common so-called protocols for them to be able to interact and uh, work together. And so that was very resource-hungry for them. They, they spent a lot of money on that. So when we had a chance to talk to some of the people involved in the project and we sort of float out this idea of what we are doing, their jaw dropped. They think, goodness, this is such a simple solution and why are we doing the other thing you know, that we're doing? So we're, we're pretty proud of it that we sort of overcome a difficult solution with, with our ideas. Yeah.